EA Utiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Renee and I am a Juilliard trained opera singer. Stairway to Heaven Remastered. Thank you so very much, Mike, for sponsoring this video. Guys, let me know what you like and what you don't like. And Mike, let us know if there's anything else we need to know. Let's do it. It's starting in this ear. There's like an echo in this ear, kind of, but mostly in this ear. Oof. Wind instruments. What instruments is that? It sounds like... Like recorders, but pretty recorders? Pan flute. Is it pan flute? Ooh. That's so cool. There's a lady who shows And then the voice. All it glitters is gold. gold. And she's buying the stairway. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed with a word, she can get what she can. And she's buying a stairway. There's a sign on the wall, but she wants to be sure, cause you know sometimes words have to mean. It's interesting. What's the name of this vocalist? Is it the vocalist of Led Zeppelin? What is it? Robert? Is it Robert? Robert Plant? Wonder if the reef repeats too much? No, it does not, Roscoe. Let me see. Robert Anthony Plant is an English singer and songwriter, best known as the lead singer and lyricist of the English rock band Led Zeppelin for all of its existence from 1968 up until 1980, when the band broke up following the death of John Bonham, the band's drummer. Plant ex enjoyed great success with Led Zeppelin from the late 1960s to the end of the 1970s. He developed a compelling image as the charismatic rock and roll frontman, similar to those of the contemporaries such as Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, Roger Daltrey of The Who, Jim Morrison of The Doors, and Freddie Mercury of Queen. Okay. He has a powerful and wide vocal range. Hmm. Particularly evident in his high registered vocals. Okay. Has given Plant a successful singing career spanning more than 50 years. He was ranked on their number 15 on the 100 best singers of all time. Huh. Because the thing is, is that when I listen to him in this, he sounds, um, how do I say it? Like, he sounds very unique and the sound is very special because of how unique he sounds. But I'm not hearing, like, a whole lot of, like, incredible technique, you know, in this range. So it's kind of interesting for me to hear that. Because I was expecting a little bit more legato for this song, you know? The bassist Paul Jones made arrangements for the recorders slash flutes. He played them live on a keyboard instrument called the Mellotron. It's an instrument which plays a pre-recorded sound from a tape uh, uh, for each key on the keyboard. Check it out if you're interested. Many progressive rock bands used a Mellotron. Now they would be using a synthesizer, right? Or a MIDI keyboard? Yes, it was pre-synth. Got it. Okay. Let's keep on listening. I want to hear more. And she's buying a stairway. There's a sign on the wall, but she wants to be sure, cause you know sometimes words have to mean. In the tree by the brook, by the there's brook. a songbird who sings, sometimes all of our thoughts. Oh my gosh, my whole ears just flooded out. There's 
It's a feeling I get when I look to the west and my spirit is crying for leaving. In my thoughts I have seen rings of smoke through the trees and the voices of those who stand up. give it to him i don't think a song has held my attention this closely in a long time you know what i mean like i mean i've I've paid attention obviously but like i mean like this this level of focus and this level of just like on something so kind of not simple per se but something so drawn back while also being fleshed out does that make sense because it's so fleshed out and simple at the same time i think that's why i'm really really focused on it and actually really processing it better than i do most songs that are especially like slower or simpler. So fascinating. Let's keep listening. The trees and the voices of those who stand up here. Nice. Ooh, it makes me wonder. Now that he's upper, he's in his higher range a little bit. I can hear more of the legato and the voices carrying through. He's not using as much rasp, so it's less speaky. And now I'm hearing him sing through all the lines. So now, now I can hear the vocals coming through, and I like it. It's still a very unique sound. I first called you to join.
happening? What? Uh, how, when did? When did? What? I can't. Okay, first of all, I can't believe I've never heard this song all the way through because I don't know this part of this song at all. And second of all, what? How did we go from "There's a Lady Who Sure"? Like what? When did we get into this? Oh my God. Okay, let's keep listening. I guess. <laughs> Valentando there. That's it. <gasps> oh my cheese. Wow, cheese muffins, y'all. Wow. I can't believe that I've never heard this song all the way through. That kind of breaks my heart a little bit because I've always said like, wow, the stairway to heaven. But I only know that at the very beginning, I didn't know. Whoa, that's wild. That is very, very wild. I never expected it to go there. Holy cheese muffins. <laughs> that's it. It was an eight minute long song. It didn't feel like it. It felt like it just kept, you know, could have kept going <laughs> to the next part. Oh my God. That was amazing. I could listen to that 700 times more. <laughs> Seven times. I'm sorry, guys. I know everybody's going to say that now. Oh, that's beautiful. That is truly, truly beautiful. I like that a lot. Wow. I just never expected the song to go there. Like, I knew the beginning, like I said. And actually, the first time I ever heard it was when I was in my guitar class in, like, sixth grade. I learned the guitar because I was mad at the choir teacher for not, like, loving me more. <laughs> So I went to guitar class and um, mind you, we didn't really learn much. We just went into the practice rooms and played with chords on our own and taught ourselves the guitar. I'm basically self-taught on the guitar besides like a lesson that I had once. No, twice. I had two lessons and he, he taught me. That's how I made my hideaway. Actually, that those two lessons helped me create my hideaway. Um, not They didn't write it, but like they taught me a strumming technique. And then from that, I was able to come up with the, with the strumming technique for my hideaway. But anyway... That's a long thing to say. That's the first place where I heard that song because one of the guitarists was learning that first little intro lick. And then that's all I heard. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Oh my gosh. Really, really beautiful song though. Ah, <laughs> Maggie watches the Lord of the Rings directors and is like, that's it. Yep, that's me. It's almost as good as Cashmere Close, but not quite. Ha! That's funny. I've not seen anyone to react to this song for the first time in 50 years, and for Maggie to be the next one was fabulous. It's so good. It's so good. I honestly... Ooh, it's fascinating. All right. Thank you so, so, so much, Mike, for sponsoring that video. That was absolutely epical. I'm so grateful we got to do this because Lord knows I needed to hear it. Can't believe <laughs> I hadn't heard it until now. That is hilarious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment down below what you enjoyed and what you'd like to hear next, and subscribe to join my BEA beautiful family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maggie Renee Music so that you can join me on all of my adventures as a singer living in New York City, studying at Juilliard, and traveling the world, taking you on stage and backstage with me. 
If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon, where you can get exclusive perks and benefits. You can also hit the cute little blue join button to become a member of the Skittle Squad. Skittle Squad, let me hear you down below. Also, be sure to check out the links down below in my description so that you can see all the ways that you can follow me, connect with me, and support the channel. You can also go to maggierenee.com links to find all of the different places that you can visit, such as my Discord. Make sure you join the Discord. Become a member of the Eyebrow Army. TikTok, Patreon, how to sponsor a reaction, my vocal course called How to Sing Better Instantly, and much, much more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I am sending you all so, 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 so much love. And I will see you in the next video. Mm.